Josh, welcome to Darton Football Club. Tell us about your playing background. I've been around a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thought around a bit. Yeah, no, I started um, as a youngster at West Brom. So I did my apprenticeship through West Brom. Then I moved abroad, um, played quite a few games in the Football League. And then obviously, as I got a bit older, my knees stopped working. I uh, found myself um, in the lower levels. So yeah, I've had a pretty decent career football-wise. You've made over 500 appearances along the way and your final club uh, playing-wise was Hereford. Yeah, yeah, um, enjoyed it. You know, obviously living my, my childhood dream has been a professional footballer, so, you know, I'm thankful I've been able to do that. And, you know, I was at Hereford, at two spots at Hereford actually, but was there on loan in, when they were in League One and then obviously back a couple of years ago. So, yeah, it's been a um, good experience. I haven't officially retired yet, so... <laughs> <laughs> so we won't rule out the plane come back then <laughs> no we won't no no way too stiff for that now yeah. <laughs> but you've made quite a few useful contacts along the way in your career yeah yeah obviously you know being dotted around like I have and played at various football clubs I know a lot of people in the game um, a lot of people have moved into kind of senior roles so for me you know contacts is probably one of my real strengths yeah. now we left Hereford as manager earlier on in the year what's attracted you to come to Darlington What's that to like? You know, I've been here a few times. I don't think I've won here. So if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> it's definitely won. Um, but, you know, the support for them, from the fans, you know, you look at the you know, the money they've raised, the passion they have, the dedication they have for the football club. Why would you not be, want to be a part of that? And, you know, sitting, you know, coming in, speaking to the chairman, speaking to the board, you know, they've got real vision, a real focus about them. And it's, it's something, you know, that's, I'm that way myself. So, you know, that really attracts me to the football club. What's going to be your playing philosophy? Football. Yeah, so we want to control possession, um, first and foremost. I like my teams to play, um, but getting on the front foot, pressing, working hard, um, you know, they're the main things with it. But, you know, we want to control games of football and win, and win matches, that's what it's about. Now, you're a qualified UEFA air coach, and that helped you quite a bit at Hereford when you were manager there. Yeah, um, I've got, um, obviously, my UEFA A, I've got a um, psychology degree, um, that will help me with the players for sure, uh, a bit of counselling as well. So, yeah, I made, I made sure I'm fully qualified. You know, I, I like to be on the grass, I like to coach with the players, you know, We've got some key principles that we we, we want to use, so we make sure that you know. Obviously, Danny's coming in as well, so he's going to bring his his experience to the squad as well. You mentioned key principles there. What, what do you mean by those? I can't tell you them, can I? <laughs> Someone's watching this. We're going to be in trouble, aren't we? <laughs> no, but it's just, it's just around the way we work. You know, obviously, you have a philosophy and, and you know formations you want to play, but it, it's it's more about having these key principles. So if we need to change things and, and, and move things around, those principles will stay the same. So yeah, the lads will. Obviously, we're going to go in today and the lads will be aware of those. Have you looked at any of our recent matches? Of course I have. Yeah, I've, I've been around. I, I, haven't, I haven't been here, to be fair. Um, I've watched a, a few on, on online and obviously I know a lot of the squad as well. So I know quite a few of the players. I've tried to sign a few of the players over the years. So um, I'm really excited to work with the squad. There's some really good players at the football club. And, and you'll have seen from recent matches what, what might be wrong with the team in terms of the formation, the tactics, the way we approach matches. Yeah, obviously I'm going to be different to the, to the last manager. Obviously he had his philosophies and the way he wanted to do things. Um, so yeah, I mean I'd like to thank him. Obviously he's, he's he's been a massive servant to the football club for a long period of time, and he's built a, you know a decent squad. So first and foremost, I want to say say that. But no, I have different ways of doing things. I know some things haven't been right on the pitch, and you know we're going to address them on the training pitch over the coming weeks to make sure we put them things right and get off the bottom of the table. I think that's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll be making personnel changes straight away? Or are you going to be one of these managers that will say, right, I'll give you guys two or three matches before I make my mind up about you? Look, I'm the manager of the football club now and they're my boys. So um, first and foremost, we'll, we'll sit down, we'll assess, assess them. You know, I'll pretty much know most of them anyway. Um, if we feel that there needs to be some tweaks and, and maybe different, you know, changes in personnel, then obviously, of course, we'll look at that. I'll speak to the board, you know, I'll speak to Danny um, to make sure we get the right people in the football club. And what will you want from the players in terms of attitude and approach? I've got no doubt about their, their attitudes and their approach, to be honest. Um, I know quite a few of them. There's quite a few senior pros in the dressing room. You can see by the way the lads have conducted themselves when there's not been a manager. You know, they've, they've got together, they've banded together and they've worked together. So I would expect that to continue. I'm very professional. I expect high standards, you know, so we're, we're going to work properly. Training-wise, I expect them to put a proper shift in training and, and on match days and just carry themselves around the football club with real professionalism and that's what I'll expect. Yeah. When you were at Hereford, you were more than just a team manager. You threw yourself into community projects, into helping out with the academy and all sorts. 
yeah, um, obviously we we lost the youth team when I was there, um, so we brought that back, um, and and you know I was out mentoring some of the some of the kids. I, I would say there there's a there was a real problem with county lines there, drug drug issues there. So I was out with the police, helping going into schools, and for me the community is massive to a football club, and you know a family run football club like Darlo, it's important that they see me, um, they see me in schools, they see me around the place, you know, really giving something back to the club because without them we wouldn't be here. So you know I've, I've made sure, and I'm going to make sure that. We we're out and about, they'll see the players and, and, and we'll make sure we're getting in amongst the community. Back to matters on the pitch, you're coming into a 24th versus 23rd game on Saturday and obviously you want to start with a, with a good win. Yeah, of course I do. You know, you know, I mentioned Hereford again, I took over, I think it was 22 games and one win. Um, we were second from bottom or whatever we were, so I've been in this scenario before, so I understand, you know, what, what it means. I, I understand that we need to start getting wins on the board first and foremost. So we'll put some things in place over the next over the next couple of training sessions um, to get that result on, on Saturday and start climbing up that table. And briefly, the message to doubt the fans, you're going to work really hard on behalf of this club and get us up the table as, as quickly as possible. Of course I am. <laughs> no, you know what? I can't wait to see them. You know, whenever we've played against uh, against the fans, it's been you know the noise, the, the the passion. You can just feel it, and it's a privilege. And I'm I'm proud to be at a football club where I've got fans like that behind me. And look, at the end of the day, from my point of view, I've got to earn their respect. I've got to earn the lads' respect. I've got to earn the fans' respect, and we'll, and we'll do that over the coming weeks to make sure that we put something out there that they're proud of.